Okay, so today we will be discussing about the meaning, the scope and development of anthropology and then we will be discussing about the idea of socio-cultural anthropology, what is its scope, relevance of socio-cultural anthropology and then we will start with marriage as an institution. Okay, so first listen and then I will dictate the notes. Okay, so what all questions will come from each section, okay, we will discuss that and uh, related to that you will write notes on that. Okay, so, that, so as I told you yesterday, there is four branches branches of anthropology yes socio cultural biological archaeological and linguistic sometimes applied anthropology is also considered to be another branch that means if whatever we study in other discipline if we apply it for the human welfare and human development it becomes applied anthropology so some of the some of the books mention applied anthropology as a fifth uh, branch okay so anyway so uh, coming to the uh, introduction the meaning scope and development of anthropology so i told you yesterday anthropology means it is a study of humankind yes so it is derived from the greek word anthropology is derived from the Greek word anthropos meaning humankind or man and logos means study so therefore it is a study of humankind and everything about man okay his culture his behavior his physical the evolution of culture the evolution of him physically all of that is studied in anthropology so you study all aspect of man at all times in all place whether it is past or whether it is present Okay, in all context, you are going to study man. It's a comprehensive study of humankind. If you take other discipline, let's say economics. In economics, you will study the economic activity, okay, uh, production, distribution, consumption. If you take history, it only talks about the historical evolution of mankind, the culture cultural evolution of mankind. If you talk about sociology, it studies about the human society. Okay, if you talk about medicine, if you talk any discipline, they're all part study of part discipline or part study of mankind whereas anthropology is a holistic science of man it studies everything related to mankind okay all aspect at all level of development at all times and at all places there is nothing that anthropology cannot study it studies everything okay so now coming to the development of anthropology you should understand how anthropology came into existence as a discipline see even, even in the ancient times there were philosophers who used to study about man and culture etc or they used to study about other cultures in the ancient time okay so we have various philosophers who had done such studies but a systematic beginning of study of culture took place somewhere in the 17th and 18th century okay so mainly it was in the 18th 19th century a systematic study of human culture began so basically how it started see we uh, know about darwin's theory okay so somewhere in the 19th century darwin came up with his theory he wrote a book about evolution of man he, he, he wrote a book on origin of species in which he talks about the evolution of man before that we thought that man was created by god okay it, uh, man just appeared on the earth okay and not much emphasis was given on scientific study of evolution of man evolution yeah, biological evolution then there were some who were interested in how culture evolved you know so they started also studying culture from the evolutionary point of view so sometimes it is said that anthropology is a child of darwin because Darwin started talking about evolution of humans physically, some anthropologists used the same principle to study human or cultural evolution of humans. So sometimes it is said that those who are interested in trying to understand the evolution of human culture use Darwinian principles to study this. After Darwin's theory, we started applying that to understand human culture, the evolution, the development of human culture. Then, at the same time, in the 19th century, at the same time, there was industrial revolution that took place in Europe. Yes, so industrial revolution took place. So during industrial revolution, okay, there was a uh, you know a need for raw materials. There was need for new market so that the industries, whatever they produced, they could sell in the new market. So in search of new market, in search of resources, you had uh, people from Europe okay, going on voyages, trying to find new 
uh, places yes they uh, went and started colonizing new places in africa in uh, america in asia etc and they came across different culture okay along with them came missionaries along with them came soldiers along with them came adventurers all of them suddenly saw different culture than what they had in their back home okay and then they started studying these culture started documenting these cultures and they started sending it back to their hometown in britain and other european cities you understood so when colonies colonial uh, men came and visited newer areas in america in india in asia and other parts of the world they came across some new culture okay and they started uh, documenting all of them and sent those document back to the hometown in europe etc and suddenly when they started reading all of this some of them who were interested in uh, culture and society etc started building theories based on this okay so that is how again anthropology developed so anthropology can also be said as a child of colonialism so anthropology began a systematic study of anthropology began in the 19th century because of darwin's theory because of colonialism okay so sometimes it is said that uh, anthropology is a child of both darwin's darwinian and colonialism is that okay so but at that point of time now if you want to understand what how do you understand this physical evolution of man you compare today's man with an ape you compare them correct ape are like this man is like this probably he might have evolved like this so first they were walking in four legs and then probably they started walking in two legs and like that so what do you do here you compare the today's compare man with that of ape so how do we study it is comparative yes same way in order to understand the evolution of culture in order to understand the evolution of culture we compare one culture with that of another which is this another primitive culture so you study the tribal culture or primitive culture compare them with the present that is civilization and then you will know okay we were like this before and now we are like this you understood so probably we were like tribals living like them in the forest with basic minimal uh, requirements and today we are a civilization so we compare today with that of the compare the civilization with that of the primitive society to understand our past are you able to understand see you are comparing man with ape this is complex this is primitive so you are comparing the man with that of ape to understand our past same way you are comparing civilization with that of primitive society to understand our past so by studying the uh, primitive we will understand our past you understood so this is how anthropology started they started comparing one society with that of another they considered their society as the highest level and called it civilization and they compared with all other native society other primitive society and said they are past and we are present so by studying them we got to know our past so this is how anthropology began they started studying different cultures especially the primitive culture to understand our past if you want to know india's past culture you study the present day primitives so as to understand our past i'll repeat if you want to understand our culture you study the primitives to understand our past obviously you cannot go back in time so you have to study something which is present now which represents the past so today's tribe who live in the forest we might our ancestor might have lived like them so if you study them we will understand our past this is how anthropology began okay so especially when they came across primitives living in different islands they said that oh we might have been like them today we are civilized we are wearing clothes they are not wearing clothes probably even our past we were not wearing clothes this is how it began and that is why initially the word 
initially the word ethnology was used instead of anthropology so what is ethnology okay so basically it deals with basically it deals with comparing and analyzing different culture you are comparing one culture with that of another culture okay so dealing chiefly with comparative culture so therefore it was known as ethnology initially the word ethnology was used so it is nothing but science of people their culture life history as a group so here we are dealing chiefly with comparing and analyzing different culture why you are doing this so as to understand our past how we evolved so mainly we were interested in our culture and how it originated and how it developed how it originated and how did it develop so by studying the primitives okay the tribal society and all by studying them we understood our past that is how it started initially the word ethnology was used okay so how did culture develop how did it change that is how what they were interested in how did culture develop how did it change etc so they started using data that were collected by using field work then later on it became more systematic and the term social anthropology was used in britain and cultural anthropology was used in us or america okay so in america cultural anthropology was used and in britain social anthropology was used okay so both did not i uh, want to you know leave their name and finally in one of the symposium they decided that we'll merge both the words and today it is called social cultural anthropology so here we study about human culture their ways of life their behavior within the society why do they do it how it originated how did it develop why there will be changes etc by comparing one, between one society and another society so this is what is the meaning and development of anthropology later on in 20th century onwards okay the discipline of anthropology were set up in universities lot of research was being conducted in anthropology and this gave rise to sub disciplines of anthropology okay so it gave rise to biological physical anthropology it gave rise to archaeological anthropology etc in the 20th century as it was set up in different universities and with the advance of advancement of science when genetics and all these things were uh, became very uh, i mean lot of research was done in these things okay so biological and physical anthropology name was replaced with biological anthropology both are used to i mean uh, you know synonymously sometimes they use physical anthropology sometimes they use biological anthropology this is very briefly about the origin of origin and development of anthropology so it began with a curiosity to know how our culture originated and developed for this we used darwinian principle which was used in biology okay and then again due to colonialism we came across new culture with new ways of life and this gave rise to interest to study other cultures and to understand our cultural history how we developed how we existed etc so this is how anthropology as a discipline began okay so basically what is the scope of anthropology so anthropology scope means what does anthropology study what okay its scope is universal matlab it studies everything okay everything and it studies man in totality every aspect of man okay whether it is biology whether it is socio cultural aspect everything is studied in totality anthropologist not only describe a phenomena but also analyze and synthesize matlab describe describe means you make a note of what it is analyze why it is and build theory as to explain what is the reason behind the existence or why it is exists so it describes analyze and synthesizes everything about man so it studies totality in parts and parts as a whole okay as a discipline it studies parts also and whole also it studies parts in relationship with the whole and whole with the part okay and finally it tries to make generalization about everything why man is like this why man's culture is like this why religion is like this why marriage is like that so it tries to make such generalization it studies all aspect of man 
all groups okay at all time okay and uh, the study of anthropology is coterminous yes. or genus homo okay so that is what is the scope so this can be asked as a 15 marker maximum so what is the uh, what is anthropology and its scope and development okay can be asked as a 15 marker.